I think um, at, well, at East Regionals, we actually didn't even know where we placed at first because the team was having so much fun at that race that we, which is amazing that we can do what we do without even realizing kind of what we're doing. And I think that's why our team races so well together. Um, and then West Regionals, that was somewhere in the past that we have, uh, like Kinsey said, we have won before. And so we kind of went in hoping we'd win again and that we could repeat that. But it, it definitely helps with the confidence going into nationals. And um, I think that the whole team is starting to realize like we're actually a lot closer than we ever have been, um, not just ranking wise, but also time wise with the other team that's ranked first right now. I would say so. Like lo looking at the team and how they've prepared physically, they are physically ready. It's just a matter of how they show up mentally and emotionally. Um, I would like to see the team act and perform in the way that they did at East Regional. It's it's a short season, August to November, but here we are, early November, and it feels like it's been a long season. So finding a way to um, get that spark that they had at East Regional, where it was all just about having fun and they were gonna go out there and do their best. I, I really hope that they, um, they do feel some nerves, you know, that means that you care, but that they can just see it as another opportunity for them to race hard with their teammates, um, it, not, not feel too much pressure, I guess. It's my hope. just based off of what I know and I've learned from my teammates and kind of seeing how we all work together, especially when we travel for races. Um, I honestly think the key is almost not thinking about the race and not kind of focusing on every little detail because you can only control so much in a triathlon and unexpected things are going to happen. And I don't, I don't think anyone should put the pressure on them to have a perfect race, but I think what's going to get us across the finish line and help everyone perform is almost when we kind of just lean on each other more and we focus on what a good time we're having because when you focus on the good, the good gets better. And I think that our team performs so much better when we're like we're, when, when we're just having fun with it and then we almost don't realize like what we're capable of doing, but also just knowing that we're so close and we are capable of so much more than all of us think so mentally preparing and it's kind of more just a mind game i think nationals yeah. is going to be because i think physically our team is ready but it's all about our mindset once we're there and we're racing yeah i agree with that and this is a really fun team everyone's pretty funny and <laughs> i feel like um just having good vibes and I've learned through many years of sports that being stressed about it and worrying the whole time about how you're gonna do doesn't help. So just having fun with it, it is the reason why we're doing the sport is to have fun and get close to our teammates. So that'll help a lot. Mm -hmm. So first, first year in, what's been the hardest of the disciplines to, to figure out and feel like, okay, I can, I can get through Definitely the cycling, because that's something I've been doing for over a year now. It's been difficult, but I have made progress, and um, it helps to have some nice supportive teammates. And um, during a race, like Hannah, like sometimes <laughs> on the bike, I'll be struggling, and Hannah's like, you got this, Shannon, stay on my wheel. <laughs> um, 
Uh, just the support is really helpful, and uh, I still have a lot of work to do, but um, I'm excited. She's actually improved a lot from even just over the summer. Shannon has really improved a ton in triathlon and even like technique wise. And that's why I yell at you because I'm like, you can do it, Shannon. <laughs> just suck on that. that yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, like cool. even if the bike doesn't go well, you can run, Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. have, at least it's not the last part. So yeah. <laughs> The good and the bad thing about cycling is that it's tr it truly is like how much are you willing to suffer? So you kind of have to learn like how, how much pain can I put myself in and then still run fast after? And Shannon has done a really good job of um, push, pushing that this season. Get off the bike, you're a little wobbly. You start <laughs> yeah. It's mostly when you start after the swim getting on the bike. I'd say it's the hardest part for me, but I'm learning to push through that pain. <laughs> Well, and what's been kind of the learning curve for staying in that pack and grouping up with your teammate on the bike? Um, I would say in Virginia, I got out in like the lead, of the lead pack, and then they were going, and then um, people were just passing me, and I was like, maybe that's where I probably should have just like <laughs> sprinted to catch up with them. And during that race, I was kind of by myself, and I realized I was like. It would be a lot nicer if I was in a group right now so I could draft. So on the last one, I was like, I really got to work my butt off to stay with this group because it's make or break at that point. So that's what I'm hoping to do. And I have my teammates to stay with on the race. So that is what I'll mainly be focusing on on my races. The, the, question of the week. Question of the week. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I'd say I'm a pretty good artist. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that's a, some people are shocked like that. I'm pretty good at art. Do you have? I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm I don't have many talents or skills, I feel like. But um, in 10th grade, I was forced to learn the Schoolhouse Rock version of the preamble, and I can still sing that. I won't do it now, but that's the only thing that's coming to mind. I have no talent. I, I don't know if I, maybe I'm not talented. I'm not sure. Um, well, now that you said something from back in school, I guess I, when I was younger, I was in the talent show for like being able to hula hoop ten hula hoops at once. Whoa, but, that is a good one. But that I don't know if that's talent or if that was just because I was always like outside as a kid. I don't. Oh, I I'm kind of like ambidextrous a little bit actually. So yeah, most people don't know that I'm left-handed. I guess. But.